Hello denizens of YouTube. Mike here today with a new saber to share with you guys. This is actually is not a PVC creation. This is a pre-made hilt that I bought from a website called saberforge.com. They were having a flash sale several months back and a couple of their hilts were half off. And one of them caught my fancy and I thought, I want to get that and install it. And that's exactly what I did. So without further ado, I give you the Dark Dissident, is, or what I'm calling the Saber. It is a Saber Forge Dissident, and when I saw it, I thought I really wanted to get this in a Sith configuration. So I requested that the hilt come in its weathered finish, which you can see here, the anodized black with the tapping that gives your rings of exposed aluminum. I requested that the leather grip be done in a medium red. And then for the actual cloth piece, it didn't come in any different color. It only comes in that light tan. So what I did was when I got the saber, I just took a Sharpie and went over it and colored it black to complete the theme. Internally, it is running a Nano Biscotti V4 soundboard with a Luxon Tri-Rebel. It is deep red and regular red for the main blade, combining to form a nice medium red color to match the leather grip. And then red orange is the flash on clash color. Okay, starting up here up on the top, we have the emitter, nice diagonal cut. Inside, we have, can see the Luxon Tri Rubble. A uh, quick note about this hilt, and I don't know if this is the case for other Saber Forge hilts because I have not purchased any Saber Forge hilts, is that when I bought this hilt, the top here was very sharp. I actually cut my thumb running it along the edge. But after taking some sandpaper and just going over the edge, now I don't have that issue at all, although it still is pretty sharp right here at the points. So that's just something to be aware of. If you are interested in buying the Saber Forge Dissident, you may run into the same issue that I had in that you're going to need to sand off this edge right here. Continuing downward, you can see the blade retention screw and the LED retention screw. Here we have a 12 millimeter anti-vandal switch. Going down, we have our cloth piece and our leather grip. And then at the bottom here, we have our cover tech knob and our pommel vented for sound. Now, this build was actually also really fun and interesting in that this was my first chassis build. I wanted the electronics to be secure. I wanted them to be safe. But I didn't know how, what I wanted to do for a chassis. And I know that you can get 3D printed chassis off of Shapely.com. But looking at it, I noticed that they were a bit expensive, at least to my first time eyes. I was like, I don't know if I wanna pay $40 for a 3D printed chassis, as nice as they are. They are really nice. I've seen them used by other Sabersmiths and they are incredible, but I wanted to see if I could make one myself. And that's actually what, exactly what I did. So if we unscrew the pommel here, tamp this down, you can see my homemade chassis that I made out of three quarter inch PVC pipe, which I believe for two feet cost me less than $2. So I feel like I did a decent save there. So I just pull this out right here. We have it covered by electrical protection that you can get at the custom saber shop. And you have your Nano Biscotti soundboard, which can be gently lifted out for SD card access. You have your single lithium ion battery, 18650 cell. And then right here within the pipe, you have your 20 millimeter speaker. But what I'm planning on doing in the future and also trying is to see if I can just rest and maybe fix a 28 millimeter speaker for a little bit more oomph. I'll just put this back in here. Just push it back in. Push down with the pommel and then screwing it in just tightens the whole thing down. Specifically with the Nano Biscotti V4, I did not put any custom sound fonts. It is just running the default sound fonts of light meat, gray meat, and dark meat. Ooh, and I just dropped my Allen wrench. So what we're gonna do is throw in a V4 Infinity Edge blade. I do believe this is a 32 inch. I do like the 32 inch. I feel like it fits my sword style really nicely. I find it to be very comfortable. And then we'll just turn the saber on. There's the boot for dark meat. And it 
So as you can see, goes all the way up to the tip, evenly illuminated both in person and on camera. I really am a fan of the color. I like the mix of the deep red and the regular red. You can see the deeper elements throughout the blade, but then you've also got a little bit of the more orangish flare at the bottom. And in my opinion, I think it came out really nice. So then with the Nano Biscotti V4, you now have 16 swings and 16 clashes. And then if you want to change sound fonts, you just press and hold. Wait for the second beep. Now we're on gray me. And then last but not least, light me. You can kind of see that reddish orange mixing in for the flash on clash. It definitely is more prominent in person, but it still comes out pretty nice on camera. And then also, if you're new to the Nano Biscotti V4, new feature that they added that is seen on others, like the Pico Crumble, is the mute on the go option. So if you want to do this at night, don't want to disturb anybody, you got this option. Still have the blade flicker, and you still have the flash on clash, just no sound. And then, when you go in, when you turn it off, it comes back into sound mode, so... Gotta have a Sith Saber in Dark Me, I mean, come on. So there you have it, this is the Saber Forge Dark Dissident, my first ever pre-made install. I'm really happy with how it came out, I really enjoyed the process, I'm really looking forward to doing other installs in the future, learning more about the different combinations and definitely learning about soundboards and all of that jazz and making custom sound fonts, it'll be really fun. But in the meantime, hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season, no matter what you celebrate and continue to enjoy this lovely winter. I know where I am, I'm absolutely buried in snow, so it's a lot of fun. But take care everyone, and may the force be with you, always.